This video provides a little insight into the infamous 1969 case of Tinker versus Des Moines. Uh, Des Moines being Des Moines, Iowa, and this was a public school out in Iowa and it's basically being sued. So in December 1965, there's a group of students in Des Moines that held a meeting. Uh, and one of the things that they decided to do was they wanted to show some kind of support for the ending of the Vietnam War. So several students decided to wear black armbands um, and the principals um, of the school um, learn of the plan and they create a policy that states that any student caught wearing an armband protesting the Vietnam War would be asked to remove it and refusal to do so would result in suspension. Um, so um, the students uh, pictured Mary Beth Tinker and Christopher Eckhart um, basically both wore their armbands to school um, and were essentially suspended for doing so. Uh, again, they were engaged in peaceful protests. They were just wearing these armbands with the peace sign, which violated the stated school policy. So um, the question at stake is, did the school violate the students' constitutional rights by suspending them? It's a First Amendment free speech case. This is definitely involving symbolic speech, not necessarily pure speech, but it's speech nonetheless. So it's First Amendment free speech. Um, and it's a 7-2 decision in favor of Tinker, right? Um, the two students are kind of wrapped up in the same case, even though it just bears Mary Beth Tinker's name. Um, and the Supreme Court basically answers the question that yes, indeed, the school district did violate the students' rights. So what is important about this case? What's important about this case is that the first case to basically say that students have rights and they don't shed all of their rights, including First Amendment rights at the schoolhouse door. On the other hand, what it does also mention is that schools, however, can regulate speech if it's pr proving to be dangerous in the school environment or if it proves to be disruptive to learning. In this particular case, the Supreme Court argued that the school district, right, in Iowa wasn't able to prove that these two kids wearing the black armbands was A, dangerous or B, disruptive, so that their rights were violated. But if the school could in a future case prove that students exercising First Amendment rights caused a dangerous situation or disrupted learning, they would be able to restrict the speech. Uh, speech. But in this particular case, it's a landmark case because it does establish that students do have certain rights at school and you don't give them all up when you go to school on a daily basis.